I genuinely wish that aspiring artists or artists who are about to give up could listen to this. If you consider yourself a creative, you have probably had a conversation with someone who used to be creative and they say something along the lines of, oh, I remember when I used to paint or draw or whatever it may be. As a child, I used to hear this a lot and it filled me with a lot of sadness and dread for the future because I used to think, okay, well, what's the point in me doing all of this artwork at this age if I'm just gonna end up losing it when I become an adult? It seems like it's almost a custom that once you reach the folds of adulthood, you will simply have to give up your creative mantle in exchange for the responsibilities of life. There are a lot of students or full-time artists here on YouTube who talk about making art, and I think that's great and it's really inspiring, but what about the rest of us who are aspiring artists? The artists who have full-time jobs, are looking after kids, you know, have full-time student work which is not related to art, where do we fit into the spectrum? The reason I make a video about this now is because I am really starting to feel it now in the sense of I have been in my full-time job or I've been working full-time for a few years now and I'm starting to feel the fading effects of my once enthusiastic artistic self. And that's not to say that I don't make art now, but I am feeling that I'm doing less and less of it. And that's making me really upset, actually. It's what I like to call inevitable evolutionary creative retirement. Bit of a mouthful. I didn't really know how to make it shorter. <laughs> Naturally, as you get older, your responsibilities will shift and you will feel like you have no time. This means that anything including family, work, or health, or anything else, take way more priority over anything, pretty much. And don't get me wrong, these are all extremely important. However, Socrates said something really profound, which is, beware the barrenness of a busy life. After all the firefighting is done in looking after your external priorities, you suddenly find yourself lost as you realise you've forgotten to take care of the internal priorities of your creative soul. Despite that, I too find myself stumbling deeper into this rabbit hole of a barren life. I realised this maybe a few days ago when I was watching one of my old videos that I made about a year ago, and I mean this sounds a bit dramatic, but I was almost about to cry actually because I realised how far removed I am from the creative self that I was just a year ago. and how much less I'm doing creativity now, or at least how much it's shifted. And it's both a good and a bad thing, but I definitely do feel that I'm not prioritizing art as much. However, I am trying my best to hold on to the interests that make me me as an artist. And this YouTube channel is one way of doing that, as are the continual efforts that I make to paint and to draw, which I do share on my Instagram. And more recently, I'm trying to do that on TikTok, so you can follow me at Design Draw Duel. For example, this sketchbook is one that I started in October of 2022 and I've still not finished that. And as you can see, it's really not that big. And you could say that the fact that this sketchbook is taking me more than six months to fill is a failure, but I also like to think that the fact that I've not given up on it, that I've not just, you know, shelved this sketchbook is also a metric of success for an aspiring artist like myself. I think American author James Altucher explains this very well in terms of how we can progress. Always make sure you're doing little experiments every day to move yourself forward on the things that you are interested in. If there's anything that I'm trying to do with my life and with this channel, it's to encourage myself and by extension, you guys, that investing time in your creative self is completely worth it. The time that we make to fulfill this need of ours is a priority. It's not selfish and I see it as a method of self-care, as a way of filling our cup so that we can give back to others as part of the responsibilities that we have in our life. Allow me to share with you an excerpt that I wrote on my personal blog about this topic. By the way, you can subscribe in the link below. It is more of a creative motivations musings about my life and I do share some sneak peeks of artworks, um, not related to Design Draw Do, it's more my personal blog. Anyway, if you're interested, you can check it out below. I'm going to keep fighting tooth and nail to stay creative, despite the odds stacked against me. Time, work, family life, and my general lack of focus. 
Let me know how you try and keep hold of your creativity amongst the busyness of life. And if you want to know how I used to keep a daily sketchbook, then you can check out this video here. If not, you can subscribe here to see more videos. I really hope you will subscribe because I'm trying my best to make Design Trudeau into a financially viable business because I've been putting that off for like two years now. And with that, I will see you in a couple of weeks because uh, daily, no, weekly videos are getting a bit much, but um, yeah, I will be back soon. All right, bye.